bread you like. Yep. I'm gonna put it in my mixing bowl, and right. you can see this is a pizza dough, regular pizza dough, flour, yeast, and everything. Yep. Put it in here, put a little oil on top. For sure. Hey, by now, the if you want, you can add olive, rosemary, whatever you want. I just gonna put a little salt on top and that's it and then bake it. Absolutely. Mark, if we could show those mixing bowls, uh, that's actually what Wolfgang is using right now, yeah. but you can bake in these. You can bake in it. Crazy. And I let it rise. I'm gonna put my uh, cover on it and sure. that's it. Absolutely, so there's some, you get that entire set. Now, yeah. I should also point out, we've got them um, non-nested, so you can see you know, the sizes. Yeah. but they do nest so you know they don't take up that large of a profile just you know fyi oh what are you making over here okay meringue mm. you know they could be for a chocolate cake or this could be for a key lime pie or a lemon meringue pie whatever you want to make if you want to have good uh, meringue, this mixer has a planetary motion, which means just like the earth turns around itself and then it goes around the sun too. This one turns by itself, but then it goes around the bowl too. All, All right. right, so you, now again, Obviously, sometimes you're going to use it with the splatter guard, you know, especially when you first start, you know, creaming together, maybe, you know, butter and sugar or, yeah, or what have you. Yeah, you can put it on right. if you put in, depends what you put in and sure. how much you put in. Now, look oh, at that beautiful look egg white. That. See that? I know. Hey, Wolf, talk yeah. about that double beater design and why that's important with whipping air. Why do I want that? Well, you want, when you make meringue or you want whipped cream, you want to whip in as much air as possible. Why? Because it should be flat. If not, it gets very eggy tasting. So right. if you have it really air in it, it right. has a complete different texture. Absolutely. Uh, someone is actually asking if you can put the mixing bowls in the air fryer. Well, they have a 350, is it 350 in the oven? I'm not positive on the silicone, but I believe it's higher than that. Okay. Uh, but, you know, I would imagine that you'd want the smaller yeah. ones if you were going to do that. I'll no, I you know the next size would, up would fit, too. The oh, one quarter oh, no, okay. fit as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, now look at that here. Fabulous. So you make your nice chocolate pie here, meringue chocolate pie, perfect for the holidays. So we put it nice. under the broiler for a few minutes and you are done. Absolutely. So uh, yes, uh, Tasha's asking, can you bake in the mixing bowls? Rick, yep. uh, you can all the time. All the time. All, we all bake the time. all the time. As a matter of fact, look, yep. we have the We're bread, bake in here. bread in here. We're going to bake it right in here. I'm going to let it rise. It's going to sure. rise to the top and, and then in I fact, bake it. Maybe, uh, Rick, if you could look up the oven temperature just to confirm on the bowls, that would be awesome. Uh, just to confirm, but yes, you can bake in them. Um, NCC is asking about those spatulas. Can you use when cooking and or frying? And so you don't have to worry about that melt factor, right? Because that's silicone. So yes. it's not that... That's silicone, that's not yeah. plastic. Correct. That, so it's silicone with a stainless handle. So hopefully that uh, answers <laughs> that. And uh, the bowls, I think, are pretty... Oh, Marion, you were right. The bowls are oven safe to 400 degrees. Now, obviously, the lids are not, yeah. but the bowls uh, are oven safe to 400 so degrees. So, with your air fryer up to 400. Yeah, so, uh, for your air fryer up yeah. to 400. Speaking of baking, I know yum, we made some yum, cheese yum. bread, but I don't can find a knife out there. <laughs> okay. Oh wait, is this? Will this one work? Uh, here is one. Okay, okay, this one will work. This is a knife. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> all right. I'm here to help. See? Thank you. You know, thank I you. can. I can. Oh, you know, I'm not much in, in the you kitchen. Are very Good. You know, you have good eyes See? better than me. <laughs> there you go. Uh, uh, by look the way. at that. Oh, wolf. And nice. we make the dough right in here. Mmm, yep. smell it. I can smell the Oh, that smells fantastic. The cheese. I know. Oh, we is that a, one of the recipes, Marianne? A cheese Marianne? jalapeno bread here. I think it is, here. The, the jalapeno yeah. cheese bread. Yeah. That's what I thought. Oh, my, my, and my, my, bacon my. bacon in it, too. Oh, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> okay, yeah. You make your sandwich with the corn okay. beef tonight. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. But I, I like if, where you're going with yeah, this, Wolf. I know. Your you're, boyfriend's going to be so happy. <laughs> you got my bases covered for I me. I know. I want you to be happy. See, so. at least somebody does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I got that going for me. A couple of things. Things, and a lot of you are asking about the recipe booklet. Uh, first and foremost, the meatloaf said here, here's that bread that Wolfgang just sliced for you. There's your cheddar bacon jalapeno <laughs> bread. Boy, she had me at bacon, right? And then a lot of you are asking, Mark, I'm gonna shoot this down by the, our little snowman. 
Here, Marion actually shows you how to do the little snowmen. So if, if that's not the cutest little thing, yeah. I don't know what is. So ask about that cookbook. Uh, pressure cooker, we're gonna show you mashed potatoes with no lumps. And Rick, I'm sorry, you said, what, final 500 of the pressure cooker? If you were trying to get through on the pressure cooker from last hour, we'll just give you, you know, one more little peek. Uh, Rick, I think you said 500 only. Okay, so the pressure cooker is also almost gone, and we have only 100 remaining of that beautiful um, grilled grill griddle. Yeah. Yes, of the grilled griddle. Now look at that. Here I'm making chocolate mousse. I have the, some leftover egg whites. Yeah. I'm putting in some melted chocolate, and I just keep it in here. It's so easy, so, so easy to use. Okay, so uh, that pressure cooker, you're gonna see the graphic over on the side, 475 of them, blue and red only, and those are, that's last call for the year, last call for the year. So Mark, I don't need to go over there, but at some point we can show the colors, uh, choices on your today's special. Remember, it's double the trouble, double the fun. So it's a double balloon whisk design, so it whips more air into things. It's a double paddle design for cookies. That's also what Marion was using on the meatloaf. And then it's a double hook design on the dough hook. So double the trouble, double the fun. The scraper is removable if you decide that you don't want the scraper. As an example, the scraper is not on that yeah. beautiful exactly. uh, dessert you're doing. Now we have it here on the whipped cream. Now, yep. Mary Ann gonna make whipped cream. Oh. I gonna make chicken salad or shredded chicken yes. or chicken barbecue sandwich. So we had some uh, uh, chicken breast in the freezer. Fantastic. We said, let's throw it in our pressure cooker nice. with a little liquid and cook it. And now I'm gonna put it right, right. in my mixer here. Because I love shredded chicken, but I can never figure out you how can to. Never it's a pain in the neck. It, yeah. it is a pain in the neck. It's, it's too it hot, looks, it burns your fingers. Yeah. Yes. And you no, can shred right. it when it's cold. Yep, no, you're absolutely All right. right. Just on speed okay. one. Okay. Mm okay, -hmm. now look at that here. Look how fast. Get that close up. Okay. Before it's done. Can you see that? Oh, nice. So now, if you like, if you're a southerner like me, I'm from southern Austria, you add barbecue to it, barbecue sauce. Oh, man. And you make a barbecue chicken pizza. A oh, pizza. Yeah. You could put it on a pizza, too, yeah. Mm. All right, that's mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Done. Wow. Boy, that cheddar jalapeno bread. Look Should at that. Put some of this pulled chicken on it. That's what I was yeah, just exactly. thinking. Exactly. Oh, I'm my allergic goodness. to flour a little bit. Did you get some on you? <laughs> oh, man. Now, look at that. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. Wow. Put a little barbecue sauce on here. Now, let's be honest. You could never shred chicken that perfectly. No exactly. Hand. There's no way. Oh, hey, by the way, did you hear she stopped? Yeah. She's on that timer. Yeah. And it's so funny because when you think of the practicality, you have that countdown timer. So you can walk away. So, so often... When you read a recipe, it'll say, oh, beat for two minutes yeah. or beat for three minutes. And Now look you know. at that. Here I'm making whipped cream. Mm. I put it on one and a half minute. Mm -mm -mm. I do nothing and that's it. So you can walk away. You can walk away. So you don't have to worry about anything. Here's our chocolate mousse. Yeah. Mm. So mm. delicious. Do we have some clean towel, please? Oh, dynamite. I gotta tell you, you gotta try it. I cannot put flour on my, on my... Do we have some glasses or something for the chocolate mousse? This sounds good. So, Wolfgang, what was this? Just like a little chocolate with whipped cream? With whipped cream, yeah, and then you take that out. Okay. Okay, let me put that over here. All right. See, he's got so much going on, we're actually having a hard time finding where to stack <laughs> the things because there's so much food out here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, but, look, look at that chocolate mousse. Oh, that How looks beautiful. Great. But you know, that's what I was saying. If you are on a keto or paleo diet, a lot of yeah. those desserts that are keto friendly are just, you know, like sugar free jello and whipping cream. Yeah. But you have to have the right. You oh. want to make it fluffy, you want to make it airy. For sure. If you don't have a good machine, Absolutely. you know what? You won't be able to do it. And this is really an easy machine sure. and it works perfect. It though. does. Hey, Grace, thank you for the question. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enlist the help of Marion here right, in a one, second. All right, it's over. Good. Okay. But she wants to see the interior. And Marion, maybe you can help me out once we, we plate this on how... how I know. Okay. We'll show okay. off the pie Ooh, first, Grace. Oh, look at that beautiful chocolate, chocolate meringue pie. Here. Oh, boy. So pretty. Oh, boy. Mm. And I apologize, Grace. We, we're using all 
of them. So that's why I haven't been showing the interior a lot. So here's the interior. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's nice, beautiful stainless. I'll wait till uh, we're showing off the food. Thank you guys. I appreciate that. Uh, but here's the interior of the bowl. It's not plastic like a lot of other manufacturers Correct. in this design. Now, Marion, if you could do the honors to change out the attachments, you just pop it so, off. See, see how easy it is? Yep. And you just give it a spin. It'll drop down on its own until it's flush. Okay. You just pull up. Right. And then if you want to get those off to change onto the beaters, oh, yeah. you just pull these out. They share okay, the same hub. Right. Okay. And then if you want to add the um, scraper, right. see how it kind of looks like a little drone? Yeah. It's just on there and there's two little tabs. Here's one. Okay. Here's the other. And when you pull them apart, the little scraper guy comes off. So you don't have to use it, but I adore it because it yeah. scrapes both sides of the bowl and then this guy scrapes that center post. So it's a genius design. Uh, if you want to change the whisks, to right. the paddles. Okay. So here's how this works. All right. The more tines you have, the looser the batter. So that's why these oh. are great for whipped cream or egg yeah. rice. The heavier it gets, the less material there needs oh. to be. So that's why cookie dough gotcha. has less material and then a dough hook is even less. So yes. to change, you just pull. Right. And then these guys, these are your cookie paddles. So they slide right in. Okay. So they so share the same genius, housing. Right? Yep. Okay. And then also uh, they were asking about how to switch out the bowls. Now the bowl just kind of pulls off, it right? It does. Yeah, it's so simple. It's right. So easy. Look at I, guess, I guess like Wolfgang said, don't overthink it. It's right. really simple. Yeah. It yeah. just pops on and off. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there are little grooves that it'll, it'll fit into. Uh -huh. So it's just, it'll, it'll find its way. And See, it is anchored I know. To that it's table. got those suction cups. But there are just little things and you just pop that right on and mm -hmm. it kind of you know it finds its way it's a direct drive so it, it, it anchors it okay. in perfectly so hopefully that answered uh, your questions how easy it is to cook oh, now if and you have now the it's right all about machine. pizza look it's at that we made pizza. pizza it's true uh now at we this made point, chicken we made we mashed did. potatoes we made meatloaf in here so whatever you can whatever you can think of do you need good dough you make it five minutes later you have the perfect dough you want to make your own bread Makes it so easy. It does. And hey, by the way, uh, people are asking for extra bowls. Oh, we don't have extra bowls yet. And I say yet, because I'm, I'm sure our team is going to work on something like that in the future. We see you there. In fact, I think, Rick, you said over 1,500, 1,600? Over 1,500 of our finest value of the day gone. Remember, extended holiday return policy, which is crazy when you think about it. So you could be using this for Thanksgiving, the mashed potatoes. You could be using it to do that cute little cream cheese pumpkin ball for Halloween. You can use it for your meatloafs. You can use it for your parfaits, for your meringues, your cookies, your chocolate molten lava cakes. You can use it for your ganache and your cream puffs and your breads and your pizza dough and everything in between. And still have until January 31st to decide just how much you love it. At this point, though, with, if you want the white, the white is very limited. It's less than $30 on your credit card. It's free shipping. And it's a big, big deal that we have this. We would love to send it your way. I think you're going to be so pleased. It's a new concept for us. We've never offered anything quite like this. And it's just, it's fun to use. It's a lot of fun. And the big thing for me is, Wolfgang, baking is really really more of a, of a communal experience. Well, I th you know, is these true? days, with all the television shows yes. out there, the kids love to bake. With they do. all these competition, competitions, yep, you're the right. kids get excited, then the parents get they into do. it. And you know, it's nice to be all together in the kitchen, you wait out the ingredients, you do. and then you make something, and then you say, wow, we actually need that. We made that. We yeah. don't have to go to the pastry shop. We don't have to go anywhere. We make our own stuff, and I really love that. So, for for me, cooking with the family, with everybody together is a lot of fun. It's and you know, we love. always say, uh, families who cook together stay together because the people, the kids, have this memory when I was at home with the smell of the homemade cookies. Yes. You know, you can go to the best restaurant in the world or hotel or pastry shop, you buy chocolate chip cookie, the house doesn't smell, it, they, yeah. they don't smell when you take them out, but when you make them at home, I know. it's a different experience. It, it's so funny, they say, and certainly uh, individual results will vary, yeah. but they <laughs> say if you want to sell a house, bake some bread or something. No, yeah. they do, they say, bake something. Bake something, the smell it, of it, it is amazing. It, it, now look it's at It's really that. funny, but true. <laughs> Here with, <laughs> the, with the paddle, we are making meatloaf. Oh, yum. And 
Mm. I have pork and beef in here, and then I soaked some bread in milk. Nice. I'm gonna add that to it. Okay. Boy, I have to try this mousse. It's been staring me in the face all okay, night, and okay. I just, I can't, I can't not try it, Wolfgang. Oh, try it, try it. I know, just looking for a little spoon here. Okay. You know? All right, look at that. Bread, eggs, a little touch of cumin, salt and pepper, and that's all you need. Okay. Now, you said the cumin is kind of your little secret ingredient? I love cumin, yeah. Mm. I love the flavor of it. We grew up on it a little bit. And you know, mm. in the Middle East, they use it a lot. Wow. Now, look at that. How way, beautiful. You don't have to avoid to knead them with your hands or whatever. No. That mousse it, is off the chain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Put, put a Honestly. little salt in here okay. and a little pepper in here. Because and you now... Can. You have meatloaf. I so. know. It's such a great idea, though. And there you can really see the practicality of those scrapers. Now, you can yeah. use it with the scrapers or without. Mm -hmm. You can use it with the splatter guard or without. I mean, it's entirely up to you. Yeah. If you feel, well, I mean, obviously. And you can adjust the speed digitally. The speed. You can adjust the time. Right. You can, anything you anything. want. You can add things if yeah. you want to. Right. Let's say you want a meatloaf and say, oh, I want to have it a little barbecue flavor. Well, put a little barbecue sure. sauce in here. You can do it. So and you're cool. done. And you know what, Mark? I don't know if we got a good shot of the control panel in front, but Miriam, you do too. You, you can actually see that little countdown clock, mm -hmm. right? So, oh, sorry, we got a little flower in this one. We're, like we're I really said, cooking here. We, we, this is live. These are not pre-produced cookies, you know? It's like we're, we're mixing live. But on the front, now it looks like this is a little countdown. Is that what I got it going is. on? Okay. So what you've got is a timer that you can set from, so this one, if, am, I, am I backwards? Okay. Which we apologize. So, the sorry, only thing, guys. It's, it's hard to do it backwards, backwards here. Here. TV. Okay, perfect. So, yeah, so we've got 31 seconds left on this oh, timer. Nice. Okay. And it can go all the way up to 15 minutes. And you scroll just by pressing and then up and down arrows gotcha. here. Okay. And then your speed is from one to five. Oh. So, just like an accelerator, yeah. you can go the lowest is one, okay. all the way up to five, which is that highest speed. Right. But it's literally that easy. And remember, nice. we want a timer, Shannon, because if you're using a hand mixer, you tend to undermix oh. because you get tired of holding the darn yes, thing. You do. And if you have the kind of mixer you can walk away, and it'll stay on all day. We tend to overmix things, which True. is just as bad Good as undermixing. Yep. So it's really genius that Wolfgang built it this it way. Is. So and then all I do is start and stop, yep. right? Start, I just and you the, can you know? pause to add ingredients so you can right. see we're already mixing up on top. Right. If you want to stop it, you can press that button again. Right. You can lower the speed up and down. Okay. Yep. So just up. over on the side. Okay. So you can go, you can watch your little dots go down now. You're okay. on speed one. Yeah. So it's really well, easy, easy to use, right? Nice. Everything well, goes in the dishwasher besides the motor. Awesome. So over 1,600 sold. Wolfgang, you're going to town with that meatloaf over there. I know. I'm making this meatloaf. I remember when I started to make them at our cafe here in Orlando. We're opening a new yes. place. We started our bacon wrap meatloaf oh. with mashed potatoes. So that's the way I cooked it. We had yep. the bacon, put a little thyme or rosemary on top, and then fold the bacon over put it in a sheet pan with a little water and bake it for about an hour and 15 minutes and right. you have a beautiful dish. And you're gonna say, oh my God, I didn't get my hands dirty. I didn't exactly. have to do anything. By the way, a lot of people are asking to eat the mousse. I know, I, I, no spoon required, but look at how light and fluffy <laughs> that is. I mean, honestly, there's not a kid, you know, a big kid or little kid or kid at heart that's not gonna go crazy uh, for that. And then I love what Grace said too. She said, you don't have to take off your wedding rings for mixing that ground beef for I burgers know, and meat. Yes. totally. You know, whenever you have one, mm. now you just throw it in here and the That's mixer awesome. will do the work. And it will mix it better, more evenly than you can with your hands. Yes, and then uh, they're saying that even the meatloaf looks beautiful. You wrap it with that 